That's every single year. That's what I always tell them. Don't celebrate after the first day of cuts because somebody might still get your job. And uh, don't go buy a house, that's for damn sure. Uh, you might want to stick around for a couple weeks first. But, uh, yeah, that, that's been the way it's always been. I just tell everybody, you know, all you seeing is some of Y'all just seeing stuff that I already, already know. You know, when he's cooking dudes, shaking dudes. I already knew that was going to happen. Um, you know, you see what he did at Buffalo. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited for Big Jerry. I think if, you know, the players of a team don't buy into what a coach has to say, then that uh, team's not going to be successful. So, um, I, mean, I pretty much have no choice. Um, you know, that's what uh, I think success is. That's what is going to come with the most success is me trusting in, you know, Coach Nagy um, and, and, and his plan and me just getting better every day. So, uh, that's that's ultimately why I'm, I'm trusting him because, of course, you know, we all want the same thing. We all want to win games. So, um, 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 there's, there's no reason for me not to trust him. Can we just get him at the podium for like hours at a time? Love hearing the young rookie Justin Fields out of Chicago talk and address the media and his thoughts. And his coach, Matt Nagy, said that Justin Fields is going to start in the preseason finale against the Titans, a game that you can see this Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern right here on NFL Network. Kyle, what do you want to see from Justin Fields against the Titans? He's getting a lot of play, which means he will not be playing. <laughs> What would I like to see from Justin Fields against the Titans? You know what I'd like to see? What I'd like to see? see a handoff to David Montgomery. A handoff. And then on the next play, I'd like to see play action and a throw to Allen Robbins. And I'd like a fade down the left sideline. I'd like to do it behind Cody White here and James Daniels, their starting guards. But I'm not going to see it because Justin Fields is not allowed to play with the Bears starters. Hasn't been. But tell me what's wrong with this picture. Tre uh, Trevor Lawrence, first team offense. Justin Fields, no. No first team offense whatsoever. Zach Wilson, first team offense. Mac Jones, first team offense. Trey Lance, first team offense. Justin Fields, not allowed. No snaps, no time out there with the first teamers. He's throwing to guys who are going to be real estate agents this fall. And why? Why? Because he's behind Brett Favre or Alex Smith or even Jimmy Garoppolo? No, he's not allowed to play with the first team because heaven forbid anyone rock the boat that's captained by Andy Dalton? who has played as many meaningful snaps for the Chicago Bears as Justin Fields has. Make it make sense. You can't do it. Uh, and I can't believe we're here. It's actually happening. Andy Dalton's going to start the opener. I think he's going to play the whole thing. It's actually happened. And Justin Fields, what, what do I want him to see in that preseason game? I don't know. Protect yourself, duck, and then get off the field because there's no starters to protect you. And I'm, I can't believe it's happening. I, and I can't make any sense of it. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I want to see him play with the ones. It's very simple. Yeah, it's not going to happen. You know, we, I, I can't ask you to... Um, you know, evaluate Justin Fields when he's playing with twos and threes and then compare him to Andy Dalton if Andy Dalton is playing with the ones. I want to see him protected by that offensive line where he can run around and have time. I want to see him throw to the quarterback. I want to see him throw to the wide receivers and tight ends that will be starters this season. That's the only way an open competition works. We see this across the league. A rotation of QBs. Qu quarterbacks going in and out. Trey Lance rotating with Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo coming in after Trey Lance. But yet still, Matt Nagy is steadfast on not seeing him play with I, – I, I, I'm absolutely perplexed on how he can look at Justin Fields and not think that giving him a fair opportunity to be a starter makes sense for a squad. Doesn't it mm -hmm. tell you – And I fear that if this doesn't go the way that the team wants it to go, you could lose a locker room mm. before the season even starts. Wow. It's happened before. Mm. This wouldn't be the first time. I'm trying to play devil's advocate on it. Because got anything? There's got to be another take. It can't just be all of us saying play fields. And my only thing is that Andy Dalton might be doing better things behind closed doors that we don't see every day. And it's the stuff in the room. And it's the stuff that we see on the field in the practice field that doesn't show up in the preseason game. Andy Dalton has not been good this preseason. He's not been terrible, but it's been three and out, three and out, three and out. Turnover on downs, interception, one touchdown on an amazing catch by a young man um, last week. Fields has been really good. But Fields might not have it all up there yet as far as playbook goes and as far as our best chance to win in week one and as far as, hey, we're going to lead a team into Los Angeles and try to beat the Rams. I'm not there at practice. It's a shame. I'm not. But I can't tell you that it's been anything out of Chicago where the players are coming out of the press conference like, oh, my God, Justin Fields is blowing out Andy Dalton. What's going on? There's a mutiny going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to think that the coaching staff wants to win games also and they want to do what's best for the team. And that they don't think Justin Fields is just ready yet. He's going to be good. They're, yeah. they're very positive. You see the way he plays and speaks. He's an unbelievable ambassador of the sport based on what we know of him. 
Um, but maybe it's just not now. Maybe Dalton gives them a better chance to win, and maybe Dalton's more ready to play in week one mm-hmm. than Justin Fields. And if they get wins over the Rams week one, week two, week three, and then Andy Dalton gives the job away, Justin Fields comes in, takes over, and crushes it for the next five years for Chicago, we'll all be like, all right, Nagy, we saw what you were doing. If he comes out and performs well, him not starting with the ones or not getting any time with the run, your face is so, is so Chicago. I'm, this topic. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please do, do your bit. I, I, there's so many things to say. Do, do you have faith that Nagy, I guess to me it's like the, the, the better Fields plays in this third preseason game, the shorter the leash is okay. for Andy Dalton. And I would like to give that sort of confidence behind Matt Nagy that, yes, he was steadfast in his principles. I don't think he was out there with the ones like Trey Lance and everybody because it wasn't an open competition. It never was. They came out and said Andy Dalton's QB1. Mm -hmm. They made that decision a long time ago. We've been along for the ride trying to make it a competition since. Do you have faith that Matt Nagy, if Andy Dalton fails, Mm -hmm. if he falters, that he will make the change at the appropriate time? Are you worried that it's like Andy Dalton for the first seven weeks? I don't talk to me about it. No, I think, and look, if they come out and lose the opener and lose the second one, yeah, I think I, I do have faith in that. Early in the season. Yeah, I think so. I, it just, um, I, I have no doubt that Andy Dalton is a total pro in the meetings and the practice. And I think that's reflected in a lot of what Justin Fields is saying about him and all his pressing arms. He loves him. It's like, it's a funny thing in this game. You have to play well in the games. And we saw this with Trubisky. Great teammate, great hard work ethic, did everything right in the community, checks every box. And then there's this little box in the end where you have to play well on Sunday, and that really trumps all the other stupid cockamamie little boxes. <laughs> so I, I'm, there's theories now about why is Nagy so insistent? And like people are saying, well, maybe when they signed Dalton, they sat down and had a conversation. Matt maybe. Nagy said to him, you're going to be the guy. We may do some things here in the draft, but you will be our starter. And now he doesn't want to renege on that. And he feels like he owes him as a man. But, I mean, Jesus, you got to play well. I don't that, care about that theory. Else. Andy was replaced by, by Ryan Finley in the middle of the season and was like, what's going on at Cincinnati? Ryan, mm-hmm. Andy Dalton knows the game. He, you can't. You can't, as a coach, you can't, as a coach, put the entire team and your organization and a billion-dollar business on the line and say, well, I gave him my word. Like, that can't be the reason What's why. What's the better theory, though? The better theory I, I don't have is one. that he gives him a better chance to win out of the gates. Uh, Based on what he's showing in practice? Practice and where Justin Fields might be at. Yeah. I, I haven't spoken And we don't right. know. We don't know how much of the playbook Justin Fields actually has a grasp He on. hasn't played with the one, so that's fair to you to say um, that, but maybe they believe that he's not there just yet. Why does Trey Lance uh, get to play with the ones and Mac Jones gets to play with the ones, but Fields, no, do not, you're not allowed. What is that? 